This 1,500-year-old church is built where Christians believe Jesus was born. Here, Jerusalem's Catholic patriarch took the traditional midnight mass to welcome in Christmas Day. A message also from the Palestinian Authority's president, Mahmoud Abbas. I hope that the leaders of Israel will understand that peace is a real interest for them also, and not to put obstacles in the way of peace because not only will Palestinians lose from it, but also the Israelis will lose if we don't have peace and stability in the region. Earlier, tourists and pilgrims arrived to celebrate, welcomed with a riot of sound. These Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts have come from all over the West Bank to bring their noisy Christmassy celebrations to Bethlehem. But the Christians here have to live with exactly the same sorts of annoyances and frustrations of occupation as their Muslim neighbours. Bethlehem is just a 20-minute drive from Jerusalem if you have the right permits. If not, the separation wall, checkpoints and expanding Israeli settlements cut the town off from the city next door. Some fear Bethlehem will soon be a ghetto surrounded on all sides. The irony is that it's much easier for a tourist from France to visit Bethlehem than it is for some Christians living in the Palestinian territories. Dr. Jamil Tarazi and his family are among only 530 Gazans who've been allowed to travel here. When you come to Bethlehem, you feel that you are a Christian in a land, feel that Jesus was born here, and you feel it some uh, spirit of, of the Christi, uh, Christianity. So uh, I feel here I'm a Christian, but in Gaza it's a little. But for all the problems, this is a time for all Christians to celebrate and send hopes of peace. We have the impression first to help all the Catholic in, in, uh, in the country who will live something rather difficult and we, it's a way to help them to say we don't forget you. The hope of peace among all men is a universal message in Christianity, but it has particular relevance here. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Bethlehem.